Welcome to the kitchen. I'm in here with Chef Guy, our friend, and we are gonna go over a chicken meal, correct? A chicken dish. Well, not really a chicken meal so much, you know, but what I really wanna show you is uh, how to sear a chicken. And why searing is important? Because of the taste. If you sear, you lock in the taste and you almost guarantee to have a chicken that tastes great. So uh, here's the deal. Um, remember we talked about uh, the oil and uh, the fat rather and we decided to go without uh, the, 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 the spray, the coconut oil and we decided to use canola, vegetable, safflower oil or not this, we don't want the light, we don't want the pure olive oil, we only want extra virgin olive oil, which these two are, okay? Right. Now, uh, we also uh, decided that, you know, we want a lean chicken rather than fatty chicken, so we right. get rid of that, okay? <laughs> the problem is that, you know, there's not a lot of fat there, right? so it's gonna be harder to actually give it a nice sear. Why? Because searing is kind of dependent on the fat. Not a lot of fat, we're not talking about frying. Frying, you have a lot of fat and you dump you know, the chicken and you submerge it completely in fat, right. which we don't want, right. okay? Now, let me show you this. So, I have my chicken, I have a plate for when the chicken is cooked, and I have my extra virgin olive oil right there, okay? Now, I have that pan there. It has been heating up like that. And it's so hot, in fact, that if I put the chicken in there, you can hear the psh like that, and that's important. Now, how much fat do you use? Just enough to coat the pan. We don't want any more. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna wait for it to coat the pan, and it's smoking. There's almost no oil in there. And I'm gonna put the presentation side down. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. We want that noise. If there's not that noise, it's not searing, you're not going to have a crust, it's not going to taste good. So that's very important. You can wait if you have to, but make sure that that is going on. Right. You hear it, right? And then the second thing is that I'm not going to touch it. I'm leaving it build the crust like that, okay? So we don't have to do anything for just a couple of minutes. Pretty. It's going to take uh, two minutes on, on this side, not even, but you can take a look at it, and already we have some browning a little bit. Browning is good, you know, so we're gonna keep it like that. We're not going to disturb it. We're gonna let it build the crust because that's the important part. So now, this has uh, sealed a little bit for a couple of minutes, okay? I haven't touched it. I don't want to touch it. If I touch it, I'm going to disturb the crust, so I don't want to. Now, I'm gonna flip it and watch the crust. You see the browning? You see the nice browning? See? You see, that's good stuff, okay? And I'm gonna let you let it build another crust underneath for about two minutes. Right. And then I'll be pretty much done with that chicken, okay? Now, of course you can add salt, pepper, uh, spices, herbs, anything you want, but that's the basic for searing and add some taste to your chicken breast, which is a lean. Yeah, because if guys like me, we're eating chicken three, four, five times a week, and it gets boring, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta have ways to, to be able to prepare your chicken where it, it tastes good and you look forward to eating it, right? Because exactly. chicken and vegetables get really, well, you know, it's, exactly. <laughs> it's repetitive. And I think that you know, uh, so many people uh, have difficulties building a crust like yeah. that, you know, usually, you know, it's kind of like, you know, whitish, right. or just like, you know, everything is kind of brown and watery, right. and it just doesn't taste good. No, it has this, no flavor. Yeah, this is like a rest, restaurant style like that. Yeah. See, see, I have a crust on both ends. So now, you know, it's just a question of time to cook it through, but I can actually put it in the oven right now until it's completely cooked through, and that's gonna take maybe five minutes and then you're done. Make sure the handle is not plastic though, okay? <laughs> you're right, but that's the best of both worlds. So you get that nice crust on the stove top and then you can bake the, the chicken so, the ends, so it's cooked thoroughly. And that's right, you said the one, it's the best of the of what? Because here's why. If you finish cooking completely on the on the on the on the stove, what might happen if the chicken is too thick? Yeah. Thick, yeah. It might burn 
before it's cooked through. Gotcha. So you might have a burnt crust on the top and the bottom, right. but when you cut it, it's sushi it's chicken. Right, right, right. No, <laughs> and, and, and we never want undercooked chicken. No, we don't want that. All right, a couple of minutes there. I'm going to see my chicken, what's going on in there. Here's my pan. The oven is at 350 to 400, okay? That's up to you, it's not a big, uh, make or break point, you know, the temperature. It just has to be a hot oven. Right. When we talk about hot oven, we're talking about between 350 and 425 if you have to push it. But 375 is awesome. That's what I had it right there. Our chicken is cooked. We can put it on the plate right now. We have a nice crust, both sides, and then that's it. Maybe a little garnish. And now, that looks a little bit more exciting than bland chicken, right? No doubt. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Chef.